Hey everyone, welcome to Couch Conversations with Sasha Love. I'm your host, Sasha Love, and this is a platform where we can have real conversations related to healing, growth, life, and inspiration. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Pop your melanin, girlfriend, pop your melanin. Pop your melanin, girlfriend, pop your melanin. Girl, you black, girl, and you beautiful. Let's dive into the topic for today. Releasing the control other people have in your life. This has been a tough lesson for me to learn personally because for a very long time, I felt that life was just really hard to live, hard to live freely. Because every time I made a decision or every time I considered starting a new chapter or making a certain change or investing in something, I had this constant narrative of what will other people think? What will they think? What will they think? And that would be a narrative that played over and over in my mind, dictating the decisions that I made or what direction in life that I chose. And I noticed that's actually something that does affect a lot of people. So today we're going to kind of talk a little bit about some practices that can be used to regain that control, to stop allowing other people to dictate how we were meant to live our lives. So what is a practice that we can use? The first practice that I would recommend is stop caring what other people think. What I mean by that is stop the narrative. As it begins to play, as you, as you make a decision and you begin to start seeing the real of what other people think, what other people think, and your mind goes to all these different scenarios and possibilities of what they can say, take a moment and stop. There's a reason why you thought of that decision. There's a reason why you thought of that choice. There's a reason why you wanted to make this shift or wear this outfit or start this job or move to this state. There's a reason why you made that choice. And maybe it's fear, maybe it's something from your past, maybe it's the doubt, self-doubt, the unknown. But for some reason, your mind is going to, what will they think? And you're going through those scenarios. And you start to allow that narrative to discourage you from that choice. But before that even happens, or even as it starts happening, take a moment to stop. Stop and breathe. And instead of leaning in the direction of what they will think, go back to why you made that decision and think about what you think about that decision and see where that takes you. Another practice that could be helpful in releasing the control that we've given other people and reclaiming it for ourselves is by living according to your core values. There are billions of people on earth each of them has a unique way of thinking and perceiving reality each of them have their own understanding of life their own understanding of how to do things or how things should be and that also applies to you you have your own understanding of what life is you have your own understanding your own experience of what it means to live life to the fullest so lean into that Lean into your core values, whether it's love, whether it's faith, whether it's being authentic, whether it's being real, being present, being honest with yourself, whatever your core values or core value is or are, live according to that and see where that takes you. The third thing that I will leave you with kind of ties into the second, but it's a simple two-word statement. Be you. Be you. I don't know if you've ever taken these personality quizzes where they tell you to put down the first thing that comes to your mind. I think the same applies when it comes to being you. So when you're in a particular situation and you're thinking about, well, what really is me? What, who am I in this situation? How would I respond? Probably nine times out of 10, the first thing that comes to mind, that intentionally comes to mind is probably more authentic to who you are probably it's probably most in line with who you are 
So lean into that. Lean into who you are. Not who people want you to be. Not who you pretend to be. Not who you want to be like. Be you. In your present moment, in this space, in this experience, be you. So those are my three practices. Stop caring what people think. Live according to your values and be you. Now, something that I've kind of been learning as well that I want to share with you is how it will feel to embark on this journey. For some people, it may be a simple switch and they're just like, I'm good. This is what, how I wanted to live. I feel free. I feel like I'm really who I am. But for others, it may feel uncomfortable. It may feel awkward. It may even feel foreign to you and that's okay. When you're learning something new, when you're doing something new, it's supposed to feel, well, it can feel, not supposed, it depends on the person, but it can feel uncomfortable. That does not necessarily mean it's wrong. So there's a difference. It will feel uncomfortable shifting gears and changing, changing how you move through life. It's going to feel a little weird for some of you to turn off that narrative. It'll feel weird and it'll feel tempting to be like, no, 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 let me go back to what's comfortable. Let me go back to worrying about what they think because that's what I know. But I challenge you to lean into that uncomfortability. I don't even know if that's really a word, but lean into that discomfort. Lean into that awkwardness. Lean into that unknown. Lean into that, oh my gosh, am I even, is this really me? Excuse me, lean into that. and see where it takes you. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this video. What was helpful? What are some thoughts? What are some questions that you have? Feel free to connect with me through email, through Instagram, or even through the comments below. And if this video was helpful for you, feel free to like and subscribe. And at the end of every video, I leave with the following message. Take what's helpful, leave what's not. And if there's anyone that you know that will benefit from this video, share it with them. Until next time, I can't wait to see you again.